Greetings. Those who wish to learn something of life after death must engage themselves with mediumistic messages. The principle of messages given through mediumistically gifted people has been known in all world religions since time immemorial. But today, this kind of connection with the world beyond is barely understood. Precisely here, however, lies an important means of getting additional and more reliable information about the world beyond. Before we go further into this topic, it's first of all useful to make some general comments about the world beyond. There are many indications of a world beyond. For one, there are countless cases of after-death contact in which people spontaneously perceive the deceased who may then convey a short message. Particularly impressive are the many near-death experiences. Afterwards, those affected often report on a world beyond. They meet spirit beings there. Sometimes they recognize deceased relatives. They give reports of colorful landscapes, fields, flowers, animals, and houses. This opens up a new world of unimagined dimension for them. They only had these insights, however, when they found themselves outside of their earthly body. It follows then that this world beyond is of an ethereal nature, which we are unable to perceive with our human senses. We are very clearly citizens of two worlds, and our soul, our spirit, has access to the ethereal world. The impressive similarities between the world beyond and the earthly environment permits the assumption that a creative principle is at work that is valid in both worlds. The world beyond and the material world should therefore not be seen as separate realms. It seems much more likely that the forces of the world beyond make life here possible in the first place. The world beyond is also undoubtedly not limited in size. The massive dimensions of this system are apparent when we become aware that all seven and a half billion human beings will be allowed to find welcome, care, and a home after their death, just as can be gathered from near-death experiences. It's actually astonishing that the thought of a world beyond is blanked out by most people. And even though everyone will one day be personally affected by it, the reason might well be that many people are too bound to the material world with their entire thinking and feeling so that thoughts of a world beyond have no place. But as already mentioned, the possibility exists for human beings to be able to learn or experience something of the world beyond already in their earthly life. This is particularly true of mediumistically gifted human beings who can hear or see beings from the world beyond and sometimes receive messages from there as well. But how credible are mediumistic messages? In our world, we know from experience that not everything that is said or written is true. One must always make an effort to find reliable sources of information. By the same measure, mediumistic messages must also be checked for their truthfulness. It's stated already in the Bible, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits. A diverse range of mediumistic abilities has always existed among human beings. There are people who can hear spirit beings and have messages dictated to them as an automatic writing medium. Others are able to sense or see spirit beings. The most important form of mediumship is deep trance, in which a spirit being is able to speak directly through a human being. An example of an exceptional mediumistic talent was Beatrice Brunner in the German-speaking world. She was the most significant deep trance medium of the previous century. In the 35 years of her public mediumistic activity, various teachers from the beyond worked through her and conveyed a comprehensive knowledge on the basic questions of our existence and of Christian teaching. Beatrice Brunner was born in 1910 in the Canton Schweiz in Switzerland, and she trained as a dressmaker in her youth. She became the mother of two children, 
and ran her own sewing studio in Zurich with two employees in the difficult times during and after the Second World War. Her husband, Arthur Brunner, was interested in questions of the beyond and published his book, The Dead Live, in 1944. His research then brought him together with spiritually interested people who, from 1945, met regularly in a small group in order to enter into contact with the world beyond. Their focus lay in the search for knowledge on life after death and for new insights into the Christian faith. It was in this context that Beatrice Brunner's special gift for mediumistic deep trance communication was revealed and developed. From 1948 onward, Beatrice regularly gave public deep trance lectures. For the organization of these events, an association was founded with the name The Spiritual Lodge. The name Lodge symbolizes a place from which one has a better overview of proceedings and consequently of otherworldly spiritual things. It was primarily a spirit being who called himself Joseph that manifested through the medium. Then, later on, other spirit beings also held addresses. A German television station, Süddeutsche Rundfunk, made a recording of a mediumistic event with Beatrice Brunner in the late 1960s. Um, this is a weekend in Zurich at 9 Munchhaldenstrasse. Here, people of all ages and classes come together regularly to receive announcements from the beyond, from uncharted spheres. It sounds fanciful, but for 20 years, such spiritualistic meetings have been practiced here. The announcements, so they say, come from the spirit of a British man who died 40 years ago. He calls himself Joseph and has the task of bringing knowledge of the life after death closer to the people of today. The transcripts of these messages from the beyond are printed and distributed week after week to several thousand subscribers and friends of the community, most of whom live in Germany. For once, we wanted to experience such contact with the beyond. We had to negotiate with the committee of this community for quite a long time, as something like television had never been here before. But in the end, we were told that the high spirit world had personally and benevolently intervened, and for the first time had expressed no more objections to the cameras and microphone. The intermediary between the world above, from which the deceased British man reports, and the earth is a medium. Here you see that Beatrice is accompanied by her husband, who is also the publisher and publicist of this community. Mrs. Beatrice Brunner, 57 years old, a trained dressmaker, is today a homemaker and mother. Her followers say that she is the most important deep trance medium of the continent. While spirit teacher Joseph speaks through her, her own self is completely disconnected. Those present expect a message from their spirit friend, from the beyond at any moment now. The Bach concert comes to an end, and we are given a hand signal. Someone whispers to us, Joseph is now entering the body of the medium. My dear friends, I greet those of you who have gathered together. It would be desirable if science concerned itself with the problem of the beyond, as it does with other things. There would be a lot to marvel at, but there would also be disappointment disappointment for those who cannot free themselves from tradition, who must suddenly now realize that much is so different to what they were taught. Forward-looking human beings, and especially young people, wish for another faith. They wish for a living faith. They wish to believe with their intellect, too. And to a great extent, this belief in God can also be absorbed by the intellect. 
Mrs. Brunner, how do you feel after this deep trance address? Very good. And for how long have you received mediumistic addresses? For 20 years. Do spirit beings make contact through you in foreign languages? No. Professor Hinz, how is this actually possible? Why does spirit teacher Joseph, who was British, not communicate in his native language? Can you explain this to us? Spirit Joseph evidently has his mission in the German-speaking world, and especially so in Zurich, because two conditions for his work are particularly available here. First, a quite exceptional medium, and secondly, a group of friends who were able to establish the foundations of such a community. Thank you. During the course of 35 years, until her death in 1983, Beatrice worked as a deep trance medium. During this time, she was able to deliver approximately 2,400 lectures. In terms of its duration, scope and continuity, the mediumistic activity of Beatrice Brunner is exceptional and unique. Her communications were initially recorded in shorthand then recorded on audio tape, as was available uh, with the current technology, and by the late 70s, recorded on film. From 1948 onward, these addresses were published in the journal Spiritual World and are today reprinted in themed issues of the journal as well as in book series. Well, what is the content of these communications? They are essentially about the fundamental questions of our existence. Where do we come from? What is the cause and purpose of life on Earth? Why is there so much injustice and suffering in this world? What happens to us when we die? Numerous deceased human beings spoke through Beatrice Brunner and gave detailed accounts of how they experienced their transition into the spiritual world and how they shape their continued existence in the beyond. The explanations also show that no one is left alone in their life. Everyone is given a divine helper who wants to protect, guide and inspire them for the good. The majority of the lectures delivered through Beatrice Brunner are recorded on audio tape or video. The association, today under the name of GL Zurich, regularly holds services where these lectures can be heard and seen. Mediumistic messages open up insights into worlds that have remained hidden from us until now, but it remains the task of each individual to thoroughly examine everything with their own sense of reason. Indeed, everyone carries the responsibility for themselves and for what they believe. The search for new insights has never been easy, but it is definitely worthwhile. As it says in the Bible, the truth will set you free. Perhaps that is a benchmark by which one can measure one's own insights. In this sense, research into the beyond has the potential to make the world a little better. By expanding the horizon far beyond material things for those who are seeking, because then we will know what life here is only a stopover on a long journey that still lies ahead of us. By expanding the horizon far beyond material things for those who are seeking, because then we will know that life here is only a stopover on a long journey that still lies ahead of us.